do 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 Hey internet, welcome to another episode of Would You Rather with Tom Zawacki. It's a dumb show where I drive around in my dumb car, I pick up one of my dumb friends, they spin this dumb wheel, and we play a dumb game of Would You Rather. Today my guest is my dumb friend John. Let's go get him. that siren's for? I'm terrified. This episode's gonna be on fire. What are the limits here? What are we talking about? Limits? What do you mean? Like, do we have a safe word? Yeah, nobody's asked for a safe word before. <laughs> It'll change nothing that happens. Okay. But what do you want your safe word to be? If there's ever a point when uh, you think I've gone too far, just say genital mutilation. Usually it's like Minnesota or pancakes. I feel like it's an innocuous thing. But your safe word is a gross thing. Well, I mean, depends on your <clears throat> perspective. John, welcome to the show. How you doing? <laughs> you look very visibly uncomfortable. Am I projecting that? You're just asking it seems like tense and you're like, smile. I, uh, <sighs> I, I watched some of the previous episodes before this and I read the script. Everything looks great. <laughs> Well, fun fact about John, everybody, is this man right here knows how to draw. He drew a picture of me that perfectly captures my essence. I think so, yeah. It'll be on screen right here. It's like, yeah, my face is like very accurate, but it's it's not even about that. I'm playing air guitar. I'm describing a picture that they're all currently looking at. I'm playing air guitar wearing a t-shirt that says fart noise. Because for a while, one of the bits I would do, me and John used to work together. I'd go into the office and play air guitar, but it would make fart sounds. <laughs> You know, shit like that. Real highbrow, real highbrow. I mean, you guys watch this show, you know where my comedy's at. He drew that picture and I have it framed. Uh -huh. I will unframe it to scan it and then reframe it. Fun fact about when I draw people, I always draw them naked first, and then I draw the clothes on top of them. Oh. So if you erase the top layer, you'll see what's underneath. Or is it like if I flip it over and then I do that pencil mark, maybe the dick will come through. The dick will always come through. John Gordon, everybody. A dick will always come through. That's a tagline on my website. My website, right? It'll be showing right here. No, I don't do that. Click on the link to the website, everyone. It's all about me. Well, John, welcome to the show. Here's how we play the game. You're gonna spin the wheel three times. It's gonna land on a category. Tape behind each category is a question that correlates to that category. But if it lands on something that you don't want to answer, which would probably be the little mom slash dad, which is the always awful, always funny, would you rather fuck your mom or kill your dad? You can get out of answering that amazing question by using the free pass. So oh, that's so cute. Don't do it. If you don't want to answer a question, you open that and you have to do what's in there to get out of answering the question. It has not been opened in very many episodes, but it's been like to episode three since that thing's been opened. Is it something embarrassing? It's 100% something you won't want to do. That could be literally anything. There you go. Specificity and comedy, Tom so wacky. You know what I think, baby? What's that? Spin number one. That's a good one. Fuck this or that. Ooh! Starting out having sex. <laughs> Starting out having sex. Johnny Gordon. I totally sex. Totally know what that is. Is this your bit? You've never had sex? Yeah, it's a bit. The man with your face has never had sex. This video is gonna have the most comments. Oh my god! Who's that guy? Where's he live? They're gonna be like looking at landmarks, trying to find out where I picked you up. They'll be like, I'm gonna go steal me some of that Johnny GD. You know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, here's my address. It's gonna be showing right here. Just click on the link. Stop pointing the things <laughs> there. Well, there. No, it'll be there. I've seen some YouTube videos. They do that all the time. I mean, I'll put it there, but I'll blur it out. Anyways, let's, let's read the question. Would you rather fuck a woman who punches you repeatedly in the face when she comes or Fuck a woman who hasn't showered and shaved in three months. God damn it. It's been so long since I've had a typo. Ugh. Three months, everyone. No, I know. It's there. He's going to edit this out for sure. I won't. I've left typos in before. God damn it. After like the first typo, I was like, oh, that'll never happen again. After the second typo, I was like, I'm going to make sure. There's no typos in this bitch. So, would you rather fuck a woman who punches you repeatedly in the face when she comes, or fuck a woman who hasn't showered or shaved in three months? Does she still punch me in the face if she's faking it? No. Not that she would be. Can she punch me in the face the whole time? 
punched in the face repeatedly. Oh, God. Is she punching me hard? Like, is this like a female Mike Tyson? <laughs> like, am I going to die? <laughs> I'll say you just imagine the type of woman that you have sex with. And if that's like a bodybuilder, Lady Mike Tyson, by all means. Or if it's just like a regular, you know, tiny, thin white woman. Because I'm assuming you fuck the shit out of white women. Hell yeah. Then that's who's punching you. And you know, if you're the kind of guy that like makes a girl come for like seven minutes straight, then you're getting punched for seven minutes straight. Or if she's, you know, just doing that quick little like, ah, then it's just like, what is that, two punches? You know. I guess I could adjust my methods based on that. Yeah, adjust those methods, girl. And please fiddle with the paper more so it fucks up my audio. Wow, you picked some loud paper. <laughs> See, look, this video's on fire. They coming for us. Because we so hot, because we two hot dudes with hot questions. Yeah. I kind of just stole the intro to Hot Ones. You ever seen that? It's that show where they eat hot wings, and at the beginning he's like, welcome to the show with hotter wings and hotter questions. And hotter dudes. But this time it's hotter dudes and like, gross questions. Welcome to gross ones. <laughs> gross dudes and gross questions. Look, man, I gotta choose this name. If this show ever gets picked up, and I, I'm sure I could not clear calling it Would You Rather, because some asshole probably owns that, I'll call it Gross Ones. Gross Ones. And I'll play this clip. Not if I start a gross one first. You motherfucker. I'm gonna get punched in the face. Let's just... We're gonna do that. Because three months, you don't know what she's doing in that three months. Dude. You don't have to be doing much. Do you ever just like have a weird weekend where you don't shower and it's just like, I've had that. Or just like any kind of two day span where I'm like, oh, it's been two days, I haven't showered. Two days can be a bummer. Is this three months? <sighs> yeah, you're not into that. No. And the hair, you know, and it's like she's laying down and if she's got like a bunch of stuff, how are you with that? Is that a bum out or are you like, it's modern and women don't shave their pits and I don't care. Honestly, hadn't really thought about it until so you, this point. So you've never come across it then? I'll have to check my diary, but I... Maybe. We're not here to talk about old John's sex life. Are we? Shit. Yeah, man. I mean, Natalie talk about her poop, and she didn't want to. Yeah, but that's different. I'll talk about poop all day. She was so uncomfortable talking about poop. I thought that was weird. Yeah, come on, girl. Just talk about some poop. Well, girls don't poop, so... <sighs> oh, everybody poops. There's a book about it. So you rather go with just getting punched in the face a few times as opposed to somehow holding your nose through a session that will only make a person smell worse. <laughs> well, you don't know how I do it. Lots of <laughs> fragrances involved. Just oh, as you're pumping, you're spraying air freshener? <laughs> yeah. And you're like putting cologne and perfume on her? Just like dripping Yankee candle wax all over her. What scent candle do you drip on these women? It depends on the season. If it's fall, it's like a nice pumpkin pie. Are you drawing anything? Yeah, I'm also drawing on them. Drawing no, with the candle wax. No, <laughs> oh, yeah. No. A, a guy as, as white and Aryan as yourself, are you like having fun with it where you're like drawing a swastika in candle wax and trying to see if she notices just by feel the shape that you're drawing? Yeah, that's a fun game I like to play. <laughs> this is all, we're one question and this is already the worst, like the most offensive video. My mom's gonna love it. You did one spin, how do you feel? I feel weird. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's fair for everything that's happened. Yeah. Hey John, spin number two. Uh, Oh, PG. Oh, that's so weird. Everything else. Everything else. That's, wow, this is a really neat contraption. Would you rather go to a bar and say to 10 women, hi, my name is John and I'm Hitler's dream, or go to a bar and say to 10 women, hi, my name is John and how do you feel about race mixing? Do you want to know which one works better? A big part of you asking this question is your physical appearance. You look like Hitler's dream. Oh my God, it ties in with your swastika writing and candles. It ties in with just, let's call it your love of swastikas. <laughs> so, it that. so you're going to a bar and you're saying to women, one of two horrible things. Hi, my name is John and I'm Hitler's dream. 10 women, one bar. Or, hi, my name is John and how do you feel about race how mixing? Which really implies how you feel about race mixing. Well, I want them to ask me, but I think it's nice that I'm asking them. Like I'm, I want to know their feelings. It's nice. It's not nice, you piece of shit. By the time you get to like four women, they're gonna be like, what the fuck's up with that guy? You gotta go to six more. It's not going to just 10 women anywhere. 10 women in one bar. Yeah. What if it's a small bar and I have to ask 
some of them twice. Also, I didn't choose to be Hitler's dream. It's kind of creepy that he chose me, really, if you think about it. Yeah, let's talk about why Hitler's creepy more, because people need to know that. This dog is going to jump out of this car. You jump in this car. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up alongside. I don't want to. Yeah. Because I don't want to chance that dog jumping into this car. As amazing that footage would be, because that was your face. I was like, I just don't want to deal with the aftermath of that. Oh, let me pet this puppy. <laughs> Destroys everything. Um, that would be your most watched episode. You get 60, 70 views from me alone. Either of these is uh, awful. You're going to 10 women, you're saying something awful. Or which could you like kind of turn into a bit? It's hard. They're both real rough. What's hard is that. <laughs> I've done this before. I, I went to a party with my sister in college, and I didn't know anyone, and it was just a bunch of her friends, and I didn't care. When I would meet people, I'd say, hi, I'm, I'm Catherine's brother. Just curious, are you pro or anti-genocide? Because she was in a genocide class at the time, and uh... I was drunk, and I put that together. I got a weird amount of pros. The Hitler one, I think they would see that it could just be a joke or a prank. The race mixing one, that's a weird thing to joke about. That's right just, now. that's real. I don't like to mix races. I'm John Gordon. Click here for more info. <laughs> it's it's gonna be right here. I do the, the Hitler one. I mean, I do both because I don't care. I think it'd be funny. Hi, my name's John and I'm Hitler's dream. My friend Tom told me to say that he's Hitler's nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Not bad. I'm gonna drop these on the floor here. That's where they belong, they're trash. Yeah. So what have we done, two spins? Yeah. Spin number three. Eat, well it was eat this or that, but then it sort of fell back to the middle of eat this or that and murder. Murder? Murder! Murder! Wow, you sound just like that uh, Ja Rule song which is gonna be playing right now. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for the money to clear that song. Worth it. What John Rue song? I believe he says murder <laughs> in it. Question three. Would you rather kill three newborn kittens with your bare hands or poison one human? That's poison. But you don't have to watch them die. Is it poison spell draw? Yeah. Wow, I'm going to kill myself. Two typos in one video. This is unfortunate. Poison one human, but you don't have to watch them die. So you're poisoning a human. She's like, oh, hey, babe. I don't know why I made it a woman that you're dating. <laughs> but you put the poison in her food. And then, you know, you leave because you're not living together. Yeah. Because you want to get out of the relationship. This probably actually happened. Or you're not killing a human. Killing animals, probably not as bad. Three animals, but newborn kittens. So it's not like, oh, these kittens are week old. I want you to find a cat giving birth. They come out of the cat. You grab them, choke the life out. Watch the eyes go dark of this cute, probably wet kitten. You're like, oh my God, it's so adorable. And I'm there coaching. You know what to do, John. You're grip. No, remember the form that we practiced? <laughs> I mean, that would help uh, if I had someone there. Of course I won't be there. This is your trauma to deal with. All right, here's the pros and cons. Newborn kittens, they don't have their eyes open yet, so I don't have to watch the light fade oh. into darkness, into nothing. Is that like a thing with kittens? Their eyes aren't open for like a couple days? Yeah. yeah. Have you not ever raised kittens before? I've not, obviously. Did you not grow up on a farm, weirdo? No, I'm a city boy's foot. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let me learn you something. Learn me. Newborn kittens, mm -hmm. they ain't got their eyes open. They ain't got their mouths open? Nope. For real? That's the pro. Like, you don't have to look in their eyes as you're slowly crushing them. The con, newborn kittens, kind of gross. They've got uh, all that placenta on them. So you'd have to get, like, figuratively and literally get your hands dirty. Yeah, baby. And that, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Don't mind the murder part. But you're like, do I got to wash my hands after? That's unfortunate. Whereas poison, relatively clean. Comes in a little bottle, you just, you know, plop that in your food or drink. But, on the other hand, I do sometimes value human life. So, mm. and animal life. I gotta think, like, how many kittens, kitten lives is one human life worth? I wanna say like 19. 19? Yeah. That seems like a good number without giving it a lot of thought. You thought about this, you wrote the question. I answered very quickly. But you know what you could do? You go to this bar, you're saying to 10 women, hey, guess what? How do you feel about race mixing? The one who's like, gives you the snippiest response, you just give a little boop boop, bye. 
Like, boop, boop, boop. You look tired. <laughs> Cut that out for sure. You're a great man, but a horrible dad. <laughs> what are you going with? You you killing a lady? Or are you killing a person? Oh, I keep making it a woman. It just says one human. You really want me to poison women. It could be literally just as easy for you to poison a man as a woman. I feel like men don't poison each other. Men, like face to face, <laughs> I'm gonna murder you. And then it's over. Guy code, bro. Yeah. No sucker punches, no poisoning. Yeah. I just straight up say, Hey dog, you about to get murdered, and then you get murdered. It's not like, oh my god, I haven't seen you since college. Come over, I'll cook you dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that's the lady way. That's the lady way to kill. It is kind of, if you look up statistics, that's how women murder versus men. I got it. So you're gonna go with kittens? I'm gonna go with kittens. It'd be better for your psyche to deal with that? Well, it's only three, three kitten souls that I'm snuffing out. As opposed to one human soul. Ladies, this is the face of the man who choke three newborn kids to death. I mean, that's a weird thing in the bedroom, you know? Some girls are into the BDSM. Like, oh, choke me, oh, choke this kitten. So we did three spins, how do you feel? You know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Really? Yeah. This was a pretty bad one. Again, mom's gonna be so proud of this. How did you feel about this one? It's good, but it ain't over yet, baby. You know how I end every video, because you're such a big fan. To give you a gift, to thank you for donating your time. Nice. Show the camera. <laughs> nice. <laughs> open that goddamn I'm gonna open this now. Yeah, good audio. <laughs> Bitches be trippin'. Okay, maybe I pushed one. It just seemed like something you would say. And something that I would wear. Even though it's a small. Oh, I didn't get it in your size. Muscle shirt. How do you feel about your gift? I think my mom's really gonna like it. Do you have that relationship with your mom where like anything on social media she'll see? Kind of. Anything on Instagram that I post she sees. She loved my pumpkin carvings last year. Remind me what your pumpkin carvings were? It's 9-11. Uh, you should uh, send me those and I'll put them on the screen right uh, here. You get so many dates from this video, dude. <laughs> John's phone number. Click the link right here for John's phone number. Uh, blur it out. Have it, but blur it out. Have it, but blur it out. Yeah. Well, I hope you had a good time. I think I did. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on how you edit this. Oh, you're gonna come off looking great. <laughs> don't blame my editing. It's everything you said. No, you told me to say those things. This was all scripted. People watching this don't realize that there's cue cards right here. They, they can't see that. There's a, there's a teleprompter. I was gonna say, cue cards are hard because they can only really hold like a good six sentences. That's why I had to switch it. Who's running the teleprompter? I'm running the teleprompter and the cameras? Yeah, you, it's got like an auto-scroll system, but then when you get to the next question, which is also scripted, <laughs> you just swipe over. It's a, it's a good setup. I'll have you know that like I didn't say everything on the teleprompter. There was some of it that I just couldn't bring myself to say. It was too nice, so you went offensive with it? Yeah, it was really polite, genuine things, and then a lot of the N-word, <laughs> and then back to polite things. I think you thought you'd catch me off guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't fall for it. I gotta go. I should go. Yeah, you should get out. I got Bible study. Have fun tripping bitches. <laughs> oh, I will. It's a great neighborhood for tripping bitches. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you're gonna go out. After all this, it's gonna end with that. Yep. That's my catchphrase. <laughs> it's gonna be right here. Click the link. Bye, Bye. Ugh, I'm happy he's out. He's way too racist to be that good looking. Or way too good looking to be that racist. Probably both. Smash that like button.